welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. And I'm Alex. And today we have this. This is the uh, unique Typhoon H. And it is pretty unique. It is very unique. As a matter of fact, we got the great opportunity to hang out with Raymond and Trent from Unique. Mm -hmm. And they brought this down for us to try out. Brother, thanks for coming oh, wow. down. So we're going to fly this, right, Ray? Yes, we're going right. to fly it. We're going to do it. All right. So lifting off is pretty self-explanatory. Boom. Right up. That's the cool part. That's awesome. I love it. <laughs> pretty darn stable. Yeah. It looks awesome. It looks really cool. So if I'm flying in follow me mode, I'm gonna go boom like this. So it's locked in and then I'm gonna hit follow me, watch me. And it's watching. So it's saying, wow. hey, the camera's right there. And say if I go this way. So it's moving, he's not touching the controls at all. So what you wanna do is go bam, all the way down. Now it's in obstacle avoidance. Okay. So you could take a walk through the park yeah. and have this thing follow you. Uh -huh. And it, you don't have to be holding the big transmitter. You could use the wand, right? Yes, you can use the wand. It's, up. it's gonna go around that, don't worry. Oh. Are you serious? Yeah. Dude, it is really close. Yeah. Put Did you see that? Me. It literally was like, I thought for sure it was going to the trees. I'm like, this is gonna be good. And it went around it. <laughs> I swear it's gonna hit that tree. It's gonna hit that tree. Go on. Oh my God. Trust it. <laughs> so you can see. It's just doing its thing. That's why I trust it. Oh. oh, wow, that was really cool. It, it literally was about to touch a branch. It's like, whoa, and it backed up. Yeah. Trust it. <laughs> trust it. There you go. <laughs> He's pretty fast. I mean, he is pretty fast. Oh, I'm laughing because I'm watching the I just noticed that the actual aircraft itself, it'll change its direction that it's going. So yeah. it'll point into a completely different direction Boom. as yeah. it's passing. Because right now it's facing that way, yeah. but the camera's facing that way. I give up these tires. I was trying to make it run into something. <laughs> and that's the cool thing about it, it won't. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah. I thought for sure it was going to hit. I think it did hit a tree. I think it, I think it nicked it with a prop. But one of the other tests that I really like was the follow me mode. And we yeah. put it to the test using the ATV. Check it out. On us? Yeah, nice. All right. Go gadget. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, we're gonna rip it. Twenty-seven miles an hour. Ooh, look at it. It's cruising. Woo! Wow, that's doing a really good job. That thing is hauling. I think they have that Ranger about maxed out. I think they do too. Alright, cool. So how fast were you going? It looked like you were topping that thing out. We went up to 42 miles 42. an hour. 43. Nice. And yeah, was, so it started like 43 miles an hour. It kind of started dropping back a little bit, but you know, it, it still held there and it <laughs> held its uh, position. So it was pretty good. Alright, well we want to thank the unique guys for yeah. coming all the way out. They came all the way from California to yes. come and they also left us with one to keep, which yes. is pretty cool. Um, so that being said, we wanted to take it out in the real world and actually get some real world experience. And actually, the weekend after we shot that segment with them, I took it home. I got a chance to use it a couple times, and I have to say it's pretty pretty impressive. It's it's a little bit different of a platform um, than than the typical like Phantoms and stuff like that. Um, meaning that it has the full 360 gimbal. The landing gear goes up, and you can be flying one direction and looking the other direction with with with, with ease, which is yes. pretty cool. All right, so today we're in Alliance. We're at this beautiful reservoir. We got the fall leaves. It looks awesome. We're gonna have a little bit of fun. Yeah, let's put it up in the air and put it to the test.
So this is my brother Jim. <laughs> a lot of you may have actually talked to Jim. If you have gone to customer service or had to deal with anything with customer service, you're most likely talking to my brother <laughs> or my wonderful wife. Now, you actually have a passion project, don't you? Yeah, uh, about seven years ago at an auction, I bought a scrapbook that had a few hundred photos in it of a barnstormer and airmail pilot from uh, Northeast Ohio, and his name's Paul Baldwin. And uh, he had incredible pictures with stories under each, and nobody knows about him because he died without children. Wow. At a kind of young age, doesn't even have a tombstone. So I'd like to make him known in the community and kind of tell his story. So you're retelling his story, and a lot of that is involving uh, recreating some, sh some shots, right? Yep, yep. Old to new, uh, 80 years ago, what the area looked like and what it looks like today, and I've used the Typhoon in a few of those shots. I'm an amateur pilot. Yeah. I'm an amateur uh, editor. So I wanted to kind of show how you can use a good piece of equipment to get good results. Very uh, cool. So our goal is actually not only use this for recreational purposes, but to also give people an idea what it's going to be like in, in a professional atmosphere as well too. Well, we want to thank you guys for watching yes. and uh, thanks for your feedback. We got a lot of comments of people saying that they wanted to see a review on the Typhoon H mm -hmm. and thanks to uh, Trent Raymond for making that a reality. Yep. Don't be afraid to leave comments below. There's a lot of new platforms coming out. We want to review them if you want to see them and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.